Okay, hello everybody. We are looking at a simulation game. This is an interview question that you might get when you apply for any position that requires SAT. Let me first explain the question to you. This question is called Risk Wars. In this question, we have two players sitting across the board and both players have different number of dice in their hand. So if I'm playing this game and I have three dice, my opponent might have two dice. And I'll roll all of my three dice. Whichever number is the highest, I'm going to use that. My opponent is going to roll his two dice. Whichever number is highest in those two dice is going to use against me. And whoever has the higher number wins the game. So as I increase my number of dice, I have more chances of getting a higher number. So if I have 5 dice, then I get a number something like 4, 3, 2, 1, 5. Then I choose 5. And he has just 1 dice. And he rolls it, he gets a 2. He has to uh, be content with the 2. Now we want to find out the outcome outcome of such a game and we'll do this on Excel to understand how this works. So let's look at the question. The question says in a classical board game risk players maneuver armies in an attempt to conquer the globe. The outcome of battles is determined by rolling dice. In one scenario the attacking country rolls three dice and the defending country rolls one. Whoever rolls the highest number of will wins the battle, but the defender wins if there is a tie. We need to build a spreadsheet model to simulate this risk scenario and to estimate the probability that attacking country wins the battle. And the answer is given to us as 0.6597 when you do that on your computer. So let's try to understand the trouble here. The trouble here is that you can get anything from 1 to 6 on your dice and you have to select the highest one so when we talk about selecting the highest we can do that very easily by the use of Excel and therefore this question on Excel is just a game of 2 minutes but if you want to solve it mathematically it might require a lot of knowledge about those theories to to get going. So we'll look at how to get to the solution using the rand between function in Excel and get to our answer. Let's open our Excel sheet. So I'm using the formula rand between and I say that I want to get a random number between 1 and 6. I drag it. Let me take just 20 cells for now. So I have taken 20 cells. Dragging this formula to the right. This is dice 1. This is dice 2. This dice max, and I'm selecting a max of these three dice. So I'm using the outcome, the highest outcome out of my three rows. So in the first row, if I, I roll three dice and it gives me two, three, two, I'll use three because it's the highest. In the second try, if I roll three dice, and I get 4 to 5, I use 5, and so on. So this is for the attacking country. So this is the attacking country. Let's look at the defending country. The defending country has just one die, so they are short of options. 
So they have to. They have one dice and they have to work with one dice only. So if you see on the blue, since I have more dice, my numbers are higher. Since he has one dice, he's not selecting a max of many dice, so his numbers are lower. And now, as for the question, we have we have to find out when he's going to be higher. Let's do that. And I would drag this down like a hundred cells so that I get a good number so whoever rolls the highest number wins the battle and we want to find out the probability when the attacker is going to get a number higher than the defender. So here it does, here it does not. Here it wins, here it does not, and so on. So let's use an if command if this is greater than 0, then 1, and it's 0. So wherever you see 1, the attacker is winning. Let's try to take a sum of these to see how many times the attacker wins. And let's divide that by the number of plays. So we get something like 57578, five, which is closer but not equal to so let me try to increase the number here. And I have to look at the number. I'm increasing the size so that I get more close to the answer. So I got 649402 when I increase the number and as I am going to increase this and I'm going to make it 1000, I'm going to reach very close to the answer which is 0.6597. So we calculated this probability of winning of the attacker when he has three dice and he selects a max of three dice while the defending country just has one dice. So Sixty-five percent of the time the attacking country is going to win and, the and therefore the defending country is losing just because they have very less dice to select from. So this was the question which is called classical board game with risky players.